Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Space Engineers. And, um, hopefully, Cell's connection is a bit better now. <laughs> yeah. It does seem to be a lot more stable. Okay, good. Uh, that's good. I would, like to, I would like to briefly apologize to my folks, because I ran out of disk space, so I don't know how much uh, shorter my perspective will be. <laughs> but, uh, this is what I've done so far, if you miss a lot. I'm expanding on my ship right now. So, more guns. More guns. <laughs> more guns and more drinks. Yeah. <laughs> I have uh, some angry orchard hard cider with me today. <laughs> so. Oh. And uh, I, I didn't. I went and actually made a sandwich in in the break. Because <laughs> it's like lunch. It's like lunch. <laughs> I also have some pizza, but I haven't touched it. Yeah, I had that yesterday. <laughs> I didn't mention, but when we played uh, UHC on the NID server, because it was my first UHC, and as far as I'm aware, it's a bit of a tradition that you uh, have a drink as you play UHC. Yep. Um, I, uh, I, yeah, I had a, a couple of shots of rum by the by the side of me because I figured <laughs> that's the that's a drink that I can drink more of and get more adventurous rather than. Sort yeah, of the best type. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Seemed like the the drink for the job. Mm. Yeah, like I remember my first UHC. I did the same thing. Like I had like um I had a six pack of beer next to me. Uh, unfortunately, my first ever UHC, I like lost half my footage because my thing got corrupted. But um, had that and we started. That was back when we didn't schedule, really. Uh, that's back yeah. when it was just like we're doing it at this time. If you get them, if you want to do it, you have to make it that time. And unfortunately, it was like 3, 4 a.m. for me. Ooh. So, yeah. yeah. That was a good night, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Actually, I'm okay at this time in the morning. Because mm. it's, it's what, 2.30 uh, a.m., 2.20 a.m. at the moment for me. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a, a few things that you know recording at 5 a.m. something <laughs> from the previous night like throughout the entire night mm. like the first UHC we did it ended at about 6 30 a.m. here um, and just completely delirious by mm. the end of it yeah like <laughs> I, think it was, sense. I think it was after the third one like even the second and third they weren't great times for Australia and then like after that like I just put my hand up and said I'm taking control of this I'm like there's so much easier way of doing this and I made sure that the time zones are relatively fair in the main three yeah. regions. Yeah. There's there's no way to do that. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it's not not possible to get all three at a good time. Like the last yeah. UHC we did was too late for Europeans. Yeah, like we, usually like, it's it's us that gets the the, the bad end of the stick because yeah. there's fewer. Like normally, I mean, ten, it was like, fine for me. Like normally, we could start an hour earlier. For Australian, so then we're up at 8 a.m. So then it's still it's early, but it's not too early, so to say. Um, so that means like you know if you're up at like 7:30, ready for eight, like at the eight yeah. o'clock. That's not too bad. You know that's like literally like me just waking up for uni. So. So yeah. I'm not a morning person. I have special dispensation in my <laughs> office. Uh, I, I never where... used to be. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't start until 10 a.m. just because I can't get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> I, and even if I do, because everybody else starts, uh, there's flexi time in the office, you know, but the official hours are 9.30 is the latest start. But yeah, uh, me and uh, my team, should they wish to, <laughs> uh, can all start at 10, 10 a.m. You lucky kids. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have that deal. <laughs> I, I, I get a couple of days work from home, so I yeah. Yeah, go to bed at three in the morning or something like that, and I'm fine. See, I used to be really bad when I was younger. Like when I was in England, my mm -hmm. sleep like I think it was just because I was still like in like end of teenage phase sort of thing, and like my sleeping pattern was so horrendous. Like I wouldn't go to bed to like four or five in the morning each night, and then like get back up at like three, four in the afternoon the next, like, on that day. It, it was so bad, I was, I was like, really nocturnal. Yeah. I, it really suits me, that sleeping pattern, though. Mm. I've, um, I did work night shifts once for about four months, 
and it was amazing. I didn't need an alarm clock. I <laughs> I was awake at the times I was supposed to be. I felt sort of bright and bushy-tailed, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed all yeah. the time. It was amazing. It was like, this is what early morning people must feel like during yeah. the normal day. <laughs> like, it, it took me so long to actually get myself back onto a proper sleeping pattern. It took me well over a year to actually properly adapt to normal times. So, like, today, like, I struggle, like, there was one night I had a while back where I was finishing Orange is the New Black, uh, season two, and mm. I, I got really hooked into it, and I was like, okay, no, I'm finishing it tonight, I don't care what time it finished, and, like, I didn't go to bed till, like, two in the morning, but that was such a stretch for me to be up at that time, like, stay awake, because, like, I wake up every day at around eight to nine a.m., so, you know, it was getting to the point where I'd almost been up for 24 hours. And yeah, it's like I just can't do late nights anymore without. <laughs> I've, I've, I've finally got to the point where I've trained my body to be the complete opposite to what I used to be. But it took such yeah. a long time to do that. Because um, when I first started going to uni, I had to start doing that because I was in early mornings every day for like a year and a half. Like, um, like I was in four days a week, and every day I had like an 8:30 start. So, I mean, I had to be up at 6 o'clock to be on a 7 o'clock train or 7.30 train. So, like, oh, I, I, had, I had to force myself to, to get to that standard. And since then, I've, I can't go back. <laughs> oh, my worst was uh, when I lived an hour away from where I worked and I had to be in work for 8.30. Oh, so, that meant I had to be up at 6.30 every morning. Yeah. And it, I was living in a party house, and it was a <laughs> good, good time. <laughs> it was the equivalent. It was not long after graduating, and I was, um, you know, we recent graduates. We all had money to burn, and oh yeah, it was. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> it was like being at university, but with money. Yeah. Um, See, that's like kind of like the end of the year for us yeah. like whenever we hit like the end of each year like it's kind of just like we go we all go away so like i we normally go down to like mornington or something like that which is like on the other side of victoria but it's like the beach sort of capital of victoria yeah so like we all go down there i have a mate that has like a beach house so we go down there for like a week and yeah no it puts a dent in your wallet <laughs> it really does <laughs> well, this was i was living in a house with uh, some friends like two guys who were both hardcore gamers and we would just stay up every night till so it'd be 4am before I'm going to bed and then I'm up at 6.30 mm. and oh boy when the weekends came I so needed to sleep in <laughs> uh, it, it was a case of quite extreme burning the candle at both ends in the middle at the same time mm. uh, I don't and I did that for about two and a half years wow yeah yeah, no, like the, no. I, th I think the, mo the most unfortunate thing I have here is all the people I know in England uh, uh -huh. are casual gamers, so they all do enjoy it. And I do, like, almost like every week I'll get into a Skype call or a FaceTime call with, like, uh, one of my mates or we're starting to get a few others back into it as well and get the old gaming group crew back together. But, like, um, yeah. you know, we used to do that all the time. And the people I know here in Australia are the complete opposite. None of them are really gamers at all. So... <laughs> That's like another thing why I started YouTube as well, because it actually allowed me to find other gamers. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's... It's, that's like the, it's like the one thing I wish I still had was like a solid local gaming group. Although, technically, Boris is local. <laughs> Just another state. <laughs> it's like the same as Bright Eyes, because Bright Eyes is... um, I think he's Brisbane as well, actually. How much uranium do I have now? Because I've been mining this for like ages. Wow, I have twenty six thousand uranium. Nice. How much? Oh, I've got two hundred and forty three thousand platinum. I think that's probably <laughs> enough. Yeah, I've also <laughs> got sixty four thousand iron as well. So, yeah, that's pretty good. We've we've mined up those. Now we need to find the the other ones. Yeah. Definitely, um, was it magnesium and cobalt? The two. Because mm -hmm. you're still on this side of the asteroid, aren't you? Yeah, I was 
Are we heading off? Let's go see if we can find something colourful. Yeah. Um, what's an asteroid that's like big but Ooh. close by? Okay, there's this asteroid over here that like I'm facing. Kind of looks like it's had something go through it and rip it apart. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go see. Yeah. Normally those are those are pretty good because they have a nice variety of uh, materials. But I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah, see, the issue is now, I can't, we can't see hmm. <laughs> home, by the way. Uh, I have God a GPS it. coordinate called home. Ah, okay, yeah. I don't oh, uh, have a and, GPS. Oh, and that, that reminds me, uh, I promised one of my subscribers that I would try sharing a, a, co a GPS coordinate with you to see if you could enter some GPS coordinates and whether that would work. So what, you send me your GPS coordinate? No, I just have to read it to you and see if you can type it in. Oh, oh, oh shit. Um, What'd you do? <laughs> crap. Uh, Cell, we've got an issue. Yeah? Oh, um, what? My ship, yeah. I pressed T and it's now trapped. It's already 5,000 blocks away from me. Um. Hey. <laughs> It's uh, heading straight towards that asteroid with dampeners <laughs> off. <laughs> okay, I'll uh, I'll chase it. I'm getting some strange it, it's lag at, behavior. It's at max yeah, I'm getting velocity, pretty laggy though. here. Oh, yeah, it's it's dropping fifty percent. That's I'm, I'm yeah. heading to the wrong. Th pretty sure that ship is is having some issues with the server. Wait, cells, Pepdry. Oh no, he's over here. No, no, no. It's a different. It's a different di di distance. Okay, so he's only about a thousand. He's still a big distance over from me. Oh, crap. Two thousand away from me. It's one thousand two hundred from me. Okay, now it's going down. I'm actually catching it now. Okay, good, good, good. I think you can actually fly faster yes, than me. Yes, I can. Yeah, I'm at yeah. hundred and ten. Yeah, because speeds have stuck at like a hundred and four point five. Um, wait, what? What just happened? I hit T and I left my vehicle and it's now going right. careening towards the asteroid and probably going to hit it in a few minutes. <laughs> like less than a minute it's going to hit it. Um, yeah, so my sim speed just dropped to 0.5 so I'm, everything's happening at half speed for me. <laughs> yeah, things what, are stuttering for me. Yeah. Yeah, stuttering. Are, it's stuttering like it, for me too. If you go shift F11 except for Mary <laughs> the third one down Sim speed that's supposed to be running at 1.0. Yeah, uh, it's I'm less 1. than 0. that. Mine's okay, at so you're, half, you should be fine. So. Yeah. Right. I'm wondering if that's to do with this base, then, if you're fine out there. Uh, except away. that I seem to be going backwards. It is. It is lagging a bit because I can see my ship is kind of jumping. But I am kind of. I'm getting close to it, but oh shit, he's gonna hit! He's gonna hit! Oh, no, he's not gonna hit! He's gonna miss it and continue into space. I, <laughs> I, I can't catch it. <laughs> uh, something strange. Cause. Oh, can't catch this. I'm like a hundred meters off from him at the moment. I was like 30 a second ago. Oh, then it now it's just zoomed past me. Wow. Yeah, something. I think the server's lagging a bit now. Am I gonna get hit by my ship? Am I? I'm like standing right in its directory. You were just in front of me. Oh, I was like in front of it, then it just teleported. I'm still trying to head for you because I figure if you have something like um, an energy need or something like that, oh, at my... least I'll be around. Yeah, I'm at eighty percent. Maybe if I just try and hit my vehicle with me, like let it actually hit me. 
Oh, I think he. I think he just did. Yes, I think I just slowed it down. Cool. Oh, I'm lagging, oh, yeah. but wow, I'm really lagging. God damn it! Come on. <laughs> Shit! Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? It's not traveling anywhere near as fast now, but it's still going pretty fast. Yeah. Still going 60, maybe 40 meters a second. Oh god, this stupid thing is just like bouncing everywhere. It's going this direction, so if I get in front of it, I might be able to stop it. Oh, it's because my dampeners are off. That's probably why it's bouncing everywhere. Oh, yeah. That explains it. That uh, explains probably a lot. <laughs> so now he's 300 plus meters. Yeah, that's probably why he was jumping everywhere for me. Almost near the end of the episode as well. Hopefully I get this in time. <laughs> Come back. Is it sort of bouncing back and forward? Like... It kind of feels like it, it stops and then updates and then goes yeah, like that's a burst what, forward. I think that's because yeah. of the dampeners. Well, when it runs that fast, it's kind of like the um, difference between the server and you. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's every about... time you receive the update, it's it's further away. Yeah. And it, I'm, I'm watching the, the server, um, like the resource monitor stats on the server and it's like <laughs> these bursts of processing power. And they're matching with the sim speed drops. Oh, okay. So yeah. whenever your ship's dropping and like doing these little bursts, it's causing. No, this. I actually died. <laughs> oh no! Ah, oh, dang it! I well, that ship's friggin' gone. Unless, yeah, unless you're able to uh, catch it, Sal. It's five kilometers away from me and gaining. Yeah, I tried to catch up to it. And maybe just like ease myself into the ship and then press T exactly when I got to the door, but I hit it too hard and killed myself. It actually put me in the ship for a second. Is critical. Um. <clears throat> see if I could just catch it. Can I still see it anywhere? Probably not. Actually, no, that's the welder I'm seeing. Looking for the drill. That's really annoying because it has like 60,000 iron and 20,000, oh, yeah. 28,000 of uranium. Mm. Well, that's a shitty note to end on in the episode. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not going to cycle my recording. I'm just going to keep on chasing the bee. You're going uh, to keep going? See if I don't want to take the ASMR. second B out and then lose that B. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gaining on it at the moment, and if I if do, do, I do, do you have I... a landing gear? No. Oh, whatever you do, don't do that. <laughs> no, that no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, no, could I'm... you attach it? <laughs> Slow it down. I mean, that, that, that's explosions and everything <laughs> yeah. in the vicinity is gone. <laughs> okay. All right. No. No. no I was thinking gear. more like I've got a ring of heavy armor uh, around the front of my ship, which is well away from my reactor and my. Um, it's away from everything important, so I could feasibly Wait, hold on. nudge the bee. Are you Pep Beacon oh, catch Two? It. That's me. Oh, that's you. Okay, I was about to say, because you're five, only 5,000. Uh, that was me. Did you just die? I am. Uh, no, uh, well, I did, but not recently. I think I know... Wait, if that's where we were mm. down there, we were um, flying uh, down... I know which asteroid we were flying to. I could try and go down there. It's... Gay. It's. I'm losing it again, Mary. All right, I'm going to fly out, because I know I can, I can pinpoint the asteroid I was heading to, because that's the torn apart asteroid there. From that location, got... there's two. There's two that are torn apart. So if I fly in between it, because I know I flew past it, I potentially could run into it. 
Um, home is now 30,000 kilometers away and the ship's gaining. I don't think there's much chance of us catching it. I'm going to have one attempt at flying out here. Okay. No, no, I'm going to end the episode there. I have yeah. no idea what you're doing. All right. But All right. We'll end the episode <laughs> That's what here. I'm doing. All right. See yeah. you in the next one, guys. Goodbye. See you.